But Tom Elliott is an international investment strategist and DIY fanatic. You're not, are you? I used to be. Um, yes, building bookshelves. Thank you. Uh, but he's also an investment strategist at Devere Group as well. He joins us around this video. Bob Janjua is with us as well from New Mirror. Um, you want to start off on Greece. Now, I must warn you, Bob did do a massive groan when you say Greece. So you've got to make it interesting for us. Uh, Greece is, I think, going to go lurch from one crisis to another. I do not see a, a resolution. Uh, it, okay, they might get this 7.1 billion if they can come up with a suitable list. But uh, then when that money runs out, there'll be another crisis, another crisis. Yep. And Germany and much of the core European electorate stomach is not into supporting Syriza. And, and this really makes me annoyed because six weeks ago when Syriza came to power, I thought they were going to actually start the proper debate that should have been happening years ago on why a single currency, which is bound to have current account imbalances, will always create pluses and minuses in that current account balances. And those with surpluses should not be considered virtuous in a moral sense. Those with deficits should not be considered sinners in a moral sense. Mm. And instead, you need a structure whereby German surpluses uh, whittle down and, and, and so, you create a balance. But that, has, that debate has not happened. So and it's Greece's that's fault. That's kind of called fiscal union. Indeed. Which is essentially federalism. Yes. But instead, all we've had from Greece and, and that's the path they should have been discussing. Yeah. How do we get from this problem where there's a sense of morality in Germany and sinning in Greece, how do we get from the current situation into a closer fiscal union where the euro will work? Instead, you've had the, Greece, the Greek politicians behaving like fourth form kids at the back of the schoolroom and uh, talking about German Nazi gold. And, and I, I've, I've lost any sympathy with Greece. Right, and let's we forget about the today. German Nazi gold. Let's forget about the, but the fact of the matter is, Germany, the Troika, whoever you might want to say on the credit side, have set yeah. up a plan that they knew from day one probably wouldn't work. They've, if you look at the history of countries with 180% debt to GDP that haven't got a postal system like uh, the likes of the Japanese, yeah. you look at countries like Greece, you look at the ability to stick a, a large primary surplus on for a longer period of time, many decades or whatever it needs to be, or whatever you, uh, you know that this plan doesn't, wor doesn't yeah. work. So you say that the, the Greek, and I, I have a lot of sympathy from your point of view about acting in a certain fashion, bringing up things like the, the, the gold reparations and uh, World War II, unnecessary, now's not the time. Yes. But the fact of the matter is, the creditors knew this plan wouldn't work from day one. Every sensible economist on this programme said it um, just isn't going to work. The IMF only acknowledged a few years ago that it, hadn't, ha that it yeah. hadn't worked. There was actually a belief, there was a phrase, something like growth through deflation, I thought growth through recession. It was a bizarre phrase. I think the level of delusion that's run its way, runs through both sides of it this debate I think mm. are off the charts and it's just I ridiculous. I don't even think they were delusional Bob. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. They I were hoping to get as many countries through the storm as possible. I get the Irish through, get the Italians through, get the some Spanish of them through may have and known. just cobbled together something that may or may not work for Greece but they're only a couple of percent of GDP of Europe so we don't worry about them. Yeah I think some of them may know and I think, some, I think a large portion of these folks actually didn't realise there was a crisis on their doorstep. I'm not an economist initially. and I looked at the numbers and I listened to what people said and people said historically this has never been done. Even the Norwegians with their vast oil reserves yeah. have never Let's kept see, the kind of primary in, surplus going that the Greeks would have needed to have done to make back this Back in 10 when this crisis erupted into 11-12 there was a genuine I think a large cohort of people, smart people, who thought this was just a blip yeah. and that this would go away, it would be fine. And actually, you know, the, everyone now talking around the fact that it's, you know, it's unsustainable, incompatible, that's kind of, our, you know, smart thinking after the fact.